So I first wish to join my colleagues in expressing our deepest gratitude to Occam and particularly to its president, Mr. Paparo Savaporito, for granting us this opportunity. My task today is to illustrate how the attention to sustainability of a continuous effort in research that are part of Giacomini's DNA have brought us to develop a product that, in our opinion, not only answers the need, or I better say the urgent need, of reducing the carbon footprint of the Western world, but also an interesting opportunity for developing countries. Next. Yeah. Let's start from the fact. Renewable energy, wind and photovoltaic above all, are not available 24-7. And anyway, their availability is beyond human control. At the same time, the basic energy needs, domestic hot water, heating, electrical power, generate a consumption that varies over time in a way that it is not and can't be aligned with the availability of the energy sources mentioned before. It is then necessary to store energy or harvested when available to then be able to use it when necessary. And it is necessary to do it in a sustainable way without having to use substances that are polluting, expensive, or difficult to dispose once they have completed their mission. We need then a battery, let's call it, made of green sustainable materials that could stand an infinite number of charge discharge cycles and that wouldn't generate at the end of its life or any kind of pollution. Giacomini, and not only Giacomini, by the way, thinks that the ideal solution to this problem is called hydrogen. Mm available in almost infinite quantities and with a very good energy density per kilo, hydrogen is the obvious choice, at least from a technical point. Now, once the energy vector is identified, we need to be able to transform internal energy in an easy, clean and sustainable way. Thanks to a 20 years long research program, Giacomini has developed a, and patented a combustion <coughs> a technology to produce heat based on catalytic combustion of hydrogen that obviously does not produce CO2 and being flameless, not even NOx, but only H2O in the form of water vapor. F furthermore, again being flameless, the system is intrinsically safer than a traditional burner and requires less maintenance. So we now have all the necessary bricks to build the system to store and manage energy. We have an hydrogen catalytic combustor, we have an electrolyzer, we have an, uh, an hydrogen tank, we have a fuel cell, and then an energy management system based on AI that controls the full unit and allows remote control and supervision. The system is obviously scalable and applicable to different scenarios in different parts of the world but could be very easily and efficiently realized in the form of a pre-assembled unit that could be built where we have the competences and the production capacity to do that and then transported and easily installed wherever needed in the world. The bricks used are relatively simple and easy to maintain during the operational life of a unit. Eventually, major refurbishing works could be achieved by replacing the scheduled unit with another one and then having the maintenance in a specific place where adequately skilled technicians are available. Finally, at the end of a unit's planned operational life, during which no pollutants have been produced or emitted, these can be easily recycled without major quantities of hazardous waste like lithium, cobalt or the like. Thank you. <laughs>